last year. I move we approve the minutes. December 27th, mm -hmm. second that. And then the second we approve the minutes from the last meeting on February 2nd. Aye. 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 All opposed, saying it's not a motion to carry. Does this come, does this uh, membership? Do you need what? a vote on that? Oh, I was just going to tell you about this. Sorry. Okay. All right, and we have only four tax roll corrections. Oh. Yeah, they three, of, down. three of one for one person. <laughs> Two, yeah. Do these people find that these are wrong? Is that why they kind of come in groups? They Once they get, get their tax statements, yeah. they realize that the provision order is wrong, and then they come in. Right. They have to split them. That's what I figured it has to be. Mm -hmm. And he can just go on by what the oil company sends him. And if the family doesn't notify the oil company or whatever, it, it doesn't come out until tax time, of course. Okay, okay so it's time for reorganization. Move the tax bill. Move the tax bill. Move the tax bill. Move the tax bill. Move the all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed same time. Motion to carry. Okay. Now you can reorganize your board if you like. Well, if we don't like. Well, I thought you guys. No. <laughs> you only the same? Well, in the past, we've rotated. The vice chair, the name of Karen, and the first president. Chair. You can do whatever you want. It's your board. Chair went to the bottom of the ladder. Right? Your board. Did you use, you rotated all three? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Right. Whatever you guys want to do. I need a motion. I make a motion. As stated. You didn't state it. You stated it. <laughs> Kurt, 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 Kurt become chair. And, Kurt uh, become chair. And, stay, and Shane will be the vice chair. But, so you we got to put Shane in the middle. I was yeah. trying to stay up here. <laughs> yeah, you know, Out of the middle. Oh, oh, like all right. As stated, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed saying sign. Motion carried. So we switch now. Can I, I got a sign on this? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you were here. <laughs> Can we like just stay where we're at? Did you vote on that? No. Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed, same sign. Thank you. Motion carried, I thought. Thank you. I didn't hear it. Yeah. So yeah, you know, we usually just Yeah, you move. We move. You can move your chairs with you. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm just in the middle of this stuff, uh, working diligently. I've called maintenance. Are you taking ribbon chairs or leaving the chairs? Let's leave the chairs. Leave the chairs. They chair. have pretty close. They're all the same. I believe. Yeah, I'm moving the names. That is my name. Okay. So, Clay. <laughs> this one, I think this one's firmer than mine. Okay. Yeah, Here's it's, your resolution. That one. This one's hard. Now we don't have to vote on vice chair. Oh, what? Vice chair. No, it was in the yeah, original version. Yeah. Yeah. We need to move that over. Move that over sometime. What? This plastic new art chairs are all on. Well, this whole table has been moved because it used to be that way. Right. Well, since we're in the moving, <laughs> how's that? And then we do need to move this. Okay, we'll work on it. Yeah. This one needs back faster. So you get your list. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs>
Same price as last. Twenty-six. Okay. I don't like this one. I wondered about that, but I just we could call for it. I would talk to them, but which one? I mean, it just. So what's our policy? Well, we designate what they Yeah, but I mean... You have to ask Lisa. I, I think the, the deposits have to be <coughs> secured. Yeah. yeah. If they can't pledge... <coughs> and that's why... They have to secure it. That's why she's taken them to the other bank in the past. And that, you know, with them not knowing they're going to have that big of a deposit, it's, it kind of throws them out of their norm. Mm -hmm. and makes it pretty difficult. But I don't know that we need to change from not allowing her to make the decision to use them just based off that. I mean, she knows what rules she has to follow. So I would think that, yeah. She, yeah, needs, she needs to be in her court. And just yeah. because there are the Right. Right. Yeah. They're just all on there, right? Yes. Yeah. All the county all county county. County. So we have two resolution three. 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 The newspaper. Newspaper. <coughs> okay, you want to do them all together or you want to do separate? <laughs> Start with one, please. With one. Mm -hmm. That was in the middle. Okay, I make a motion we adopt resolution 2014 1, which is uh, designating the banks of Stafford County for the county treasurer. Second that. Okay, we have a motion a second to adopt resolution 2014-1. All in favor say aye. Aye. Please, no. Motion carried. All right. Resolution 2014-2 uh, is um, the cash basis accounting. No, oh, I was trying to find it. Mm -hmm. the Stafford County cash basis accounting. I'll make that a motion. A second. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a motion and a second to for resolution 2014-2 for cash basis accounting. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion okay. All right, and the last one is resolution 2014-3 is to um, designate uh, the Stafford Courier in Stafford, Kansas as the official county newspaper for 2014. Okay, we have a motion and a second uh, for resolution 2014-3, which is to make Stafford the official newspaper of the county. <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Those no motion. What is the IRS rate now? 53? 55, I think. Right. Okay. 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 The only thing I thought is if we increase it, it might encourage people to use it. Maybe it would be a bit more. Well, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Ye
Well, they don't have a whole lot of choice now. And they know that they paid that kind of card for it. <laughs> I tell them. Uh, I mean, I don't know, know, AAA. <laughs> well, almost every time it goes out now, something goes wrong with it. The engine light comes on. Why don't we just put that up on a sealed bed? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. So it's not even an option. It's up to you guys. Because it's a 1998 or something? Yeah. I think it's a lot. Would one leave the mileage rate the same? 48 there. How much mileage do we pay? I mean, there's, yeah, I don't know. I have to. We can put that up for sealed bids, move it, move it to 50, and encourage people to take their own. It'd still be cheaper for us. Yeah. Well, why don't we? I think we should research it. Why don't we look at? Numbers? Why don't we look at that? And look what personal mileage is for last year, and do the salaries next week. But I, the mileage and salary. Figure it out. Okay. Um, you've got your. Notice from the Kansas Association of Counties, your dues for this year are 1,826.81. This is based on population. Um, I went ahead and included it in this run because I wanted to get it paid, but I did want to tell you. If you don't want to join, we can always void that check, but I assume you would want to join. It's based on your population. I think it's money well spent. I do. I really do. I do too. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to go ahead and pay our annual dues to KAC. Second that. I have a motion and a second to pay our annual dues to KAC. All in favor say aye. 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 Those no. Motion for you. Do you want me to play to play around with this rate, or are you happy with what we decided? I'm I'm happy with it. I mean, I don't. Is there any other information you want to see on the salaries for next week? I, I kind of need. To, I, if you do, I'll need to know. Obviously, um, I, I know Barton County gave a twenty-five cent an hour. We didn't do anything last year, but yeah. Yeah. And we have raised the deductible on the insurance. Not that that's going to affect everyone, because a lot of them don't use the insurance, but I think mean, 29 cents an hour is. And there's a nice increase. I don't know how you guys feel, but <coughs> I feel like I would just not have it on my own. Well, she didn't. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I can take that off. Yeah, I don't. I would just send a it for everybody. You can, you can think about we do it next week. I'm just telling them that's how I feel now. Yeah, that's what I'm, I agree. So you want me to take your $50? Yeah. Then I would not do that. Let me get yourself a raise. <laughs> After one year, I just seem not do that. Maybe next year we can do that. If we do it again, for PR purposes, well, I think it's a better not to do that. Like you can make that noted exception in the minutes. When you approve it. Yes. Okay. You could even you know, just say we approve that for full time and that for part time. With the exception of the commission. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, in the middle of the year last year, I'd have probably said the heck with that. Is there anything else we need? Not okay. We'll recess for now, Carol. Okay. Um, I have drafted this letter to the South Central Legislative, Legislative District for you guys if you would like to sign. Um, to voice your opinion on the um, opposition of the 
taking away the mortgage registration fees. And did you give them copies yeah. already? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, anyway, that's Fine. the letter <clears throat> there.
have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2014-4. All in favor say aye. 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 There is no motion for Thank you. Are you going to send this up? constantly moving it seemed like but I was able to actually uh, give this to you guys basically what we built out for December so far but we built out 24 calls um, all of them pretty much have insurance there's two that don't that were self-paced but those are actually they have Medicare but they were transfers back to residences and Medicare does not pay for that the family was informed at the time they signed a contract saying that they would be responsible so those are the two self pays that you see up there. Everything else is pending. Um, I called Medicare Friday to find out about uh, our payments. And they said our NPI is active and they're just in processing. So we should be getting payments from Medicare in the day now. I've been checking every day, getting online in the morning. So I haven't seen anything yet. I was able to get around for you today, but I will be back next next week to give you everything. More stuff, so. Um, EMT class starts Monday. We're excited about that. Um, starts at 6 o'clock. It'll be actually at our station. I was going to inquire about the annex on the days that we have um, crew meetings. We have crew meetings every third Monday of every month, but I was going to check and see if that's the The 20th of this month, um, Lieutenant or Trooper Shavik and Tom Fisher will be presenting like strategic placement of the ambulances during cold weather emergencies and we're going to have our fire and EMS departments there so I'd like you guys out to that one. It's at the EMS office again. What day do you start? On the 20th. And what it'll means? be at 7. At the annex or out to the building? At the uh, EOC building. Yeah. Still there. And we, you know, hopefully, we got rid of some. Oh my word! Oh, this is crazy. At negative seven degrees the other day, yeah, that well. rollover accident, Nick and Gavin went to. And I said, oh, I called Nick. I had originally, because Nick was on vacation for so long, I was used to answering the page, and I answered it. And I'm like, wait a minute. Hey, Nick. <laughs> I was like, you're on today, right? He goes, yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, that's all I had for you guys. So, anything else? I got a few more runs to fill out. So. Thank you. Very good. And we'll recess again. Okay. I'm here for Jeff today. Being the chair. Being the chair. <laughs> no, actually, there's only two we listed now. Oh, uh, well, where's the other ones? Oh, oh there they are. There they are. Oh, there are. Big on the stink. Yeah. That's what we call it. Okay. The highest rated. 
this this uh, this And that's this picture? No, that's a little bit different. <laughs> No, actually, this is basically almost the same. Thing. Three is almost the same thing as the picture. Oh, that's right. Three and one. Three and one are basically the same. Basically the same. Just a little, just a few differences there. I think 
myself and Jeff is really the same way that without the vehicle, even though it's a little higher, we get what we pay for. We get the main difference is the trading value. We're trading a Marmy vehicle back to Marmy, so there's a the, the trading value a little higher than Ralph Perry did. But uh, Jeff is leaning really like the one is the just number one trying to see if the SUV that would put a cage in it. Because the whole prisoner is going to seem like this will be uh, Tom Fisher's. And it seems like he always winds up with uh, the rougher handle ones later. <laughs> <laughs> I know we have a van, but then you have to call someone else out to come get the van and everything else. I have plans on the van, I'd like to see that one there too. I'd like to see the car next year. So, you know, that should be like we did, but that's later down the road, maybe. Can there be any budget plan for this? Yeah, it comes out of the budget. The actors come out of the budget. Yeah, the actual purchase of the vehicle. How many, how many miles on the trade? What's the trade? Our, our trade is uh, 2010. Yeah. 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 This one here comes with a lot of lights over the install. It almost kind of makes up a difference yeah. with, the, with the service that we get. But we don't have a spare vehicle at all. I, I really don't like having responding to calls on the van, which I've had to use for. But they've taken my, it doesn't look very good for rolling up in a, a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> People don't like stop you for a minute. Even though it has lights. I don't like that room. Yeah, it is kind of pulled over my four one star van. Yeah, I So this is considered a, a police special, right? Yes. It's coming right from the factory? Mm -hmm. With the extra lights and the stuff. Whereas this one will have to put on? Lights and other things. I mean, it comes with, the, it's more basic. It's a basic package. Don't have a camera. Either. Doesn't have a camera. No, we, none of our videos have cameras. <laughs> Well, cameras were nice. I mean, you know, what's the old saying? A picture is worth a thousand words. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's, it's one thing I noticed on a lot of people uh, who are arrested for drunk driving when they see how trash they look on the camera. They usually end up pleading. <laughs> they don't want people to see that. It'd been nice to deal with him on that night. He was chasing that guy across all the fields. Oh, all the we'll, be, we'll be sentencing him, I think. February. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's still ensconced in the, let's see, whatever jail we got him in. Martin. Martin. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is kind of what you need up in the summer. Yeah. Um, we think overall that would probably, even though it's just a, it's a little higher, mm -hmm. we want to go to SUVs with the extra lines and service, I think, it will probably. So, you think it's a wash between the two as far as $2,000? 
the yeah, lights. With, with, the, with the lights, packages that come in, because lights get really expensive really fast. But then the service makes up a lot of it too. I mean, we've, we've done a lot of dealings with farmies over the year. But like I say, I've had vehicle problems before in the past, and I've been without a vehicle for a week and a half. And we don't have a reserve vehicle to use yeah. at all. So if they can get it in there and get it out, which they seem to do, I mean, other departments we talked to said they stood behind what they've done and what they said lately. Seem to be worth a shot that we really haven't given them before in the past. This price on this really haven't changed so well. What's that? Not 35. Okay. Well, I would say then that's. I'd go with your recommendations and be in favor of the one from um, Garden. Second motion. I'll make that motion that we accept the bid from uh, Ralph Derrick Motors and Lonnie for uh, 2014 Ford Utility Police Interceptor. Okay, we have a motion and a second to buy the 2014 Ford Utility Police Interceptor from Ralph Derrick Motors for 24625 dollars All in favor say aye. 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 Um, what are you buying around? <laughs> 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 okay, you don't want to keep these? Yeah, you know. All the work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've paper. learned in a year's time if you accumulate every yeah, piece of paper, it's I've like got a lot of letters from the city right there, so. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got through the bird on the show. Also, normally we would come next week for the fire chiefs. I'm just giving a heads up. We had to have a vehicle towed in to Newton yesterday after a fire break. And lo and behold, it's St. John's Bigfoot, the uh -oh. version. We're changing the name of it. We're going to call it the Money Pit. <laughs> and we think possibly it might have scored another misdoing or something. And that's the one that just came That's the one that just came out of Southwest. <clears throat> the truck that they fixed one. They test drove it on the way back, it scored another one, they fixed so, it, and this is only its third voyage out of the wow. station. The timing's got to be screwed up on it. Something, it's getting fuel mixture wrong or something, we, we just don't know yet. So we actually had dunes come down to try a different, after two or three times in Southwest, and they don't fix yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So we had to have a tune back from the fire yesterday, so hopefully within the next week we'll hear more and update you on it. Yeah. I smell the smoke. Where was that at? Um, it was east of Hudson. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, Stafford Hill Road, it was a tank battery on fire. Oh, yeah. oh we got lucky. It was the smallest one of oh. six. Oh. And it was only one barrel compared to the rest of them all had four or five. Oh. We thought it was that large reclaiming plant up there yeah. with the directions we got, but it was just, it was there and it didn't south of the field, so it was just one small tank that had on fire. So we were oh, here. Uh, actually, I don't think it was a heater. I think the bearings are out on the uh, pump jack. It was on uh, no. a battery on a pump jack because the, the jack is tilted a little bit and it has a natural gas that also flows into it because it was jetting flames when I got there the first time. Every time I would, <laughs> we would shoot a flame about a foot and a half out of the side of the tank every time the pump jack worked. <laughs> so that's just a heads up. We'll look at things that might come in. It's a forestry trip to work well. We got so much money invested in that yeah. and we can keep it as long as we get it where it can operate. Because that's the one that decides all the motor work we had done, and the new tank, and mm -hmm. it's the it used to be the showpiece one. But yeah. like I say, I think we're going to scratch out Bigfoot and put money in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's balmy outside. Oh, yeah. It's great. 32 degrees when I pulled freezing rain. That was a lot better than the minus 7 working direct on Monday morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, he was, he was at me. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thanks. Joe, what do you have for us? Not a whole lot. I just, you know, just I see come down here in case something comes up. You get a copy of the letter from Mike on the uh, yeah, concealed, concealed carry. The concealed carry letter he left. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the one that left it for you yeah. guys. Yeah. Are sign, signs enough up there then? Well, and that's what I yeah, out of that. it, 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 it's, it's an open area when you get, you know, an open question when you get to the so-called question of what is the courtroom area. I just, you know, put a sign up and leave it to the court to enforce it with its contempt of court powers. And my advice to the Board of County Commissioners is to stay out of it. Okay. It's been good enough in the past. Well. Here's here's the thing. I don't worry too much about what we call a, you know courtroom proceedings, where I think you're going to have problems with some of these domestic things, where yeah. people are out the hallway by themselves. That's when you see bad behavior. I mean, the basis on having practiced law for 32 years. I call me a coward, but I tend not to hang around courtrooms when there's a lot of domestic stuff going. On. <laughs> People get stupid. I mean, it's, it's just amazing what they get stupid over. I've seen people come with blows over pots and pans. I kid you not. So the signs are on the third floor themselves, yeah, just, not just on the, the court. No, 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 not on the outside of the courthouse. No, just, just the, you know, clerk of court's office, courtroom. What if they are out in the hall, though? Well, I mean, that's okay as long as it's on the, you know. Outside of the courtroom. Okay, so it's in the courtroom and the clerk's office. We're, we're, we're trying to and define the what you call the, the court area. Okay. Which is always difficult to do, particularly say in Ellsworth, but you got a, two courtrooms, one each on a different floor. Yeah. But uh, getting, getting, you know, say back to. Uh, you know, where I see the potential for trouble, it's, it's I worry about the, you know, the domestic stuff, the divorces. Uh, you know, knock on wood, but we really don't have too many problems with the criminal stuff. Uh, other possibility of trouble is your small claims, because one, there's nothing small about small claims anymore. It goes up to 5,000 bucks, and a lot of people have, I should say, unrealistic expectations. You see some fairly heated small planes from time to time. Of course, this is kind of a different county. We actually have civil trials down here. We don't have criminal trials, we got civil trials. <laughs> Where that fellow was suing Reggie Fisher over yes. damage to what I call a bone yard. He, he, he collected the insurance money on that day. I don't know if he did or not. Uh, I didn't follow all the trial, but I do know that the damning picture was where it was all burned over. You could still see where you had like tree, you know, trees like this growing up through the equipment park there, which kind of suggests it hadn't been used for a while. Little antique. Yeah. I, I always call that the bone pile. And every yeah. farmer seems to, you know, hands off. Yeah. I'm using some of that. Though now I don't have the bone pile. <laughs> <laughs> I decided, well, I'd hold on well, you know, I'd hold on. Not only, <laughs> not only in court, but I would think there'd be some concern about the treasurer's office. The treasurer's office, though, is, is does not come under you know, the auspices of the court. So. She can't do it. Well, I'm, I'm talking about well, I'm saying people. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but again, typically people who are upset about their taxes tend to send in nasty letters as opposed yeah. to show up in person. I mean, I'm not saying it can't happen. Yeah. Treasurers are notorious for getting nasty letters. And, and cause people have yet to figure out the real troublemaker for taxes is your assessor. Because he's the one who basically plugs in the figures. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, the treasurer just, you know, you know okay, you know, you send the letter. it's assessed at this, the levy is this. She doesn't have much call. Yeah. There's, there's no discretion with treasurers. Okay. And so we 
as of January 1st, 2014, we've got to have the signs off the door mm -hmm. except for the third floor. Yep. And there's no exemptions or anything? No, no we decided not to pursue no. that because of the cost. You know, again, I, I tell every, you know, small, uh, tell everybody that your typical small counties don't have the money to go out and buy metal detector things and also the money for the people to staff the metal detector things since, you know, you have to have somebody there. Mm -hmm. Saline County is the only small county or smaller county I can think of that's doing that. Uh, Central County, according, according to uh, Bob Parnicott, who's the assistant county counselor and the deputy county counselor, Central County is not going to do the screening because they just have you know, too many buildings. Too many doors, too many buildings, as you put it. And uh, uh, so for the county, I, I have not checked with Reno County. Reno County always kind of keeps its own counsel. I mean, they don't <laughs> play well with others, share, you know, whatever you call it. <laughs> you almost have to go over there and snoop around and find out what's happening. You know, you can, I can call Shawnee County or uh, you know, Rich Ecker or my friends down in uh, Sedgwick County, and you know, it's called free legal advice. It's great, but you know, in terms of what's happening in Reno County, they haven't discovered the phone. I guess <laughs> just just the way it is. Every you know, county seems to have its own ethos, its own spirit or attitude. Beckman in uh, Barton County even went so far as to crunch numbers. So he could tell you what exactly it would cost down to the penny. And it's expensive. Yeah, yeah. very expensive. <coughs> you guys have anything else? Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're adjourned.